everyone in today's video we are gonna make some Dollar Tree DIY Valentine's Day items these are gifts home decor things like that let's get started okay so for these first ones we have a DIY scented lotion and a DIY bath salts with bath bomb crumble inside and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this real quick Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is uh, some little jars like these. I got these from Walmart, but I already had these on hand. You can get one similar at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some unscented lotion and some essential oils in your choice. This one is rose scented, and it's one of my favorites. I actually pre record or tried to record and didn't realize my camera wasn't recording, so that's why there was already lotion in the jar. But all you're going to do is get some great unscented lotion from the Dollar Tree, your favorite essential oils, and just add it into the drawer and mix it together. It is so simple and so easy. Once you get that all mixed up, you're just going to add your lid really easy. And then you're just going to add some twine. Jute twine, of course, you guys who are avid Dollar Treeers know jute twine comes three to a pack from the Dollar Tree. So just add that and make yourself a cute little bow around it. Very simple, very easy. And... All right, and then I also found these really cute table scatter of hearts, glittery hearts at the Dollar Tree. Um, all you gotta do is stick a little bit of like a glue. I used E6000 and just glue them down onto the top of the lid. And that's all you got to do for that first one. All right, and then for the bath salts, um, I got this Dr. Teal's eucalyptus. I added extra eucalyptus essential oils just because I wanted it to have a lot of eucalyptus scent to it, so I just added a bit extra. Then you just mix that together. We're going to do layers. It'll be white and then like a pink and white and pink and white and pink. I ended up, I think, doing like four layers into this. You're gonna need some food coloring. Do just a little bit. I did red because I didn't have any pink on hand. And so I just put a little bit in there just so that I can make it just a tint of a pink in there. I had some bath bomb crumble that I already did. I bought some little mini white bath bombs and I put them in just a Ziploc bag and crumbled them up, like smashing them with something heavy. And I just added that to it and just mixed it all together. Whenever you put this in your bath, it's going to not only have the bath salts on the bottom, it's going to change your water pink, but it's also going to have the fizzies from a bath bomb in there, which is really cool. And I really like that. I add these to a lot of my bath salts that I make. I add bath bomb crumble because it's just really fun. First, you're going to start off with putting your first white layer on the bottom, and then you'll add a layer of the pink. And then you'll just continue adding until you fill it all the way to the top. I honestly love how the top of that looks. Okay, then just add your lid, secure it, and then you're gonna add another little heart. This time I did a pink one. Add another bow, and that one is complete too. I love these, I think they're so super cute. For this next DIY, we are gonna make this adorable little jar of candy. You can give this as a gift or put this in the gift basket like the one I'm gonna show you guys later. First, you are going to need one of these cute little jars. You get these, they're plastic at the Dollar Tree. Some candy, some twine, some ribbon, that kind of thing. And it's super simple. Literally, I bought one of these bags of this chocolate candy at the Dollar Tree and it just fits right into, it. one bag just fits right into this little bucket. Or into, I'm sorry, into this little jar. Ugh. Very cute. I got the ribbon, actually. It's that burlap polka dot ribbon that you get in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's craft section has just stepped it up over the years and has just become amazing. They have so much in their craft section right now. So I just hot glued that down to make a cute little ribbon border around it. And then I just took some of my jute twine and I wrapped it around the jar and made a little bow. Oh, 
All right, and after that, I decided to add another little of the table scattered hearts on here. I did a red one for this one and just glued it down to the very top. And that's all for this one. All right, there you have it. This next one is a cute little decor sign. It's just got XOXO and love on it. Okay, so I had actually originally did this sign right here, but I didn't like the way that it turned out or the way the heart balloons looked, so I decided just to redo it completely. So I took everything off and it took me a little bit to get the little hearts off and then I just decided to try to sand it down with some sandpaper just to smooth it all out. Then I decided to take some white paint. This is the color Snow White, I believe. It's some of that candy apple paint from Walmart. It's really cheap. It's like 55 cent a little tube. And then all I did was just paint over it. I didn't get it too thick. I just wanted it to be um, like a bit rustic looking almost. Like the paint was faded on it. Okay, and once I was done with that, I just left it to dry for a while before I moved on to my next steps. Okay, so once it was dry, it actually didn't take that long at all. Um, these little XOXO and this little love metal sign came in a pack from the Dollar Tree. It also had the word Valentine in it, but I didn't end up using that one. So I just decided to hot glue that down. It took me a little while to get my placement and where I wanted everything, but it turned out really cute, I think. I also decided to put some of those little paper scatter or table scatter hearts on there and like a really cute design. I did three up in the right hand top corner and then I just did one down in the left corner just so that it kind of offset itself and didn't match too, too much. And I really like how it turned out. And there you have it, a little Valentine's Day sign. This would be cute on like a door or maybe if you wanted to put it on a wreath as well. That would be really cute. So for this next DIY, this is a DIY Dollar Tree gift basket. This turned out so cute and so colorful and so fun for Valentine's Day. Some of these items didn't come from the Dollar Tree. They're ones I already had on hand at home and I'm going to tell you all about it real quick. Okay, so first off, this basket I actually got, it came with some beach toys that I got a couple months ago from like Walmart, I think, or the Dollar General. I ended up not using it for anything, so it was perfect for this DIY. Just add you some tissue paper into the bottom. I've got these rainbow swirl cookies that came from Walmart that you just make yourself. We got some face masks from the Dollar Tree. Their bath section is just stepped up too as far as face masks, bath bombs, shower stuff. Here is a cute little friendship candle that came from the Dollar Tree. Here are some shower fizzies from the Dollar Tree as well. Everything in lavender for those. Some bubble bars from a Walmart that I got back at Christmas. The body mist and this blue bath bomb right here came from Bath and Body Works. I already had them on hand. This green mermaid tail bath bomb came from the Dollar Tree. I've got these Color Street nail strips. I have a friend who sells them and I bought them from her. I love Color Street. If you don't know what it is, look it up. There's lots of different nail strip companies out there, but I love Color Street because I know someone who sells it. Then I'm going to add our bath salts and our lotion and our jar of candy to it. And the last item was this cute pink loofah that I got at the Dollar Tree a while back. And I just kind of rearranged it how I wanted it. But this basket ended up being so full of stuff and so cute. And I would love for anybody to buy me this basket, y'all. I thought it was a little bit simple. I thought about adding a big, huge, like, red or pink bow on it. But I finally just kind of settled on putting a simple little heart on it from that table scatter. Very simple, very cute. I just stuck it right to the front with some hot glue. And that is it.
that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked all the DIYs in here. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you next time.